Hey chicas, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I already have my eyes completed. And the only thing that I did was applied some of my MAC Pro Color and Taupe. And then on the brow bone, I applied champagne. This video is going to be a foundation routine video. As you know, as the season change, all of our um, foundation colors change. So depending on the season, you're gonna change your color because you're gonna be lighter sometimes and you're gonna be darker sometimes. And then also you want to change up your foundations depending on what kind of finish you want. You may want a dewy finish or a matte finish. So your foundation routine constantly changes depending on what you want to look like for that particular day. And also sometimes you just want to try out different foundations. So this is going to be a routine that I do the majority of the time, but like I said, I also switch up my foundations and my bronzers and my powders and things like that. So I'm just gonna pick one and I'm just gonna go with it today, okay? Okay, so today I am going to, what I've been loving lately actually is the NYX Mineral Stick Foundation in the color Caramel. I've been wearing this for about a couple of weeks and I really do like this foundation. So if I'm not wearing a foundation, either this NYX mineral foundation that I've been wearing for the past couple of weeks, um, or this matte infallible um, foundation, this is in the color caramel beige. If I'm not wearing those, I am wearing my NARS velvet matte skin tint in the color Annapurna. I really do like this and this is actually my go-to um, if I don't want to wear foundation for the day. So today I'm going to, like I said, go ahead and use my matte NYX Mineral Stick Foundation and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Now I have already applied my moisturizer and my primer and the primer that I use is the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. I put that on my face and the moisturizer I use is my go-to lately, the Hey Honey 24-7 Honey Day and Night Moisturizing Cream. I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Okay, so I'm just going to take my Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to dab that all over my face. And I like this because it's a medium coverage foundation, but it feels like full coverage. And it looks like full coverage. Matches with my skin tone perfectly. So I have the foundation applied. Pretty good coverage. Okay, now, next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and apply my concealer. This is the NARS Cream Concealer in the color Custard. Just gonna apply that really quick. As I said in a previous video, I hit these places first because I put so much concealer under the eyes, and if I do the eyes first, and then hit these areas, I'll be putting more product on the areas that I don't want a lot of product on. Okay, so as far as setting and contouring, those colors always change as well. So sometimes I will contour with my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Light Medium Matte Powder or I'll contour with this e.l.f. contour powder, the shade here, or I'll contour with my Bahama Mama contour color. So today, I'm just going to take a little bit of the Bahama Mama, just a dab and I'm going to contour slightly. I'm 
and then a little bit under the bottom lip. Now, as far as setting the actual foundation, a lot of times I use my Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinted Press Powder in the color light. I'll either use that or I'll use my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. Okay. And that is in the color Beige Soleil 310. Actually, Sun Beige 310. So today I'm going to use the Sun Beige this one and I'm just going to take my powder brush dab the brush and the powder and then pat it on my face same reason why I patted the bronzer I don't want to disturb the foundation I'm sure you noticed that I didn't go under the eye any because I'm going to set that with my Laura Mercier powder, translucent powder. Now I'll use this or I will use my Ben Nye banana powder or I'll use my um, Airspawn loose face powder that I got from the drugstore. This is in the color honey beige and this is actually a really great powder setting powder and it's very cheap. I think it was like maybe four or five bucks. I don't know. This is a great powder, but today I'm going to use my Laura Mercier powder. I'm going to take my sponge and I am just going to set my under eye. Dab just to make sure I don't have any wrinkles. You can either bake or you can go ahead and dust away the powder if you don't want to bake. You just want to set it. Today, I am just setting. So, just going to take that powder, get it off. I'm going to go back in with that Bahama Mama bronzer. Take my contour and brush and I'm just going to do a light contour on the nose with this powder. If I was using the um, Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, I'd go a little heavy on it because the powder is so light. But with this one being dark, I'm just going to do light strokes. Okay, so that really is my foundation routine. I'm pretty much finished. At this point, you would go ahead and apply your blush and your highlight and your lipstick. But as far as my foundation routine, that is pretty much all I do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my things and I will be right back. Okay, Chica, so I am back and this is with a full face completed. I know this is a foundation routine, but just in case you want to know what I put on my face. I just added a little bit of my Smashbox blush in the color Heartbreak. I added um, this espresso color on my bottom lash line along with the champagne color in the inner lash line and in the inner corner and in the inner corner of my eyes. And then as far as highlight, I used my BH Cosmetic Wild and Radiant um, Highlighting Palette in this color here, in that color. For the lips, I used my Lena Lashes More Matte Than Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the color Tom. Nice bright red lip. I deepened it a little bit with a lip liner, but other than that, everything is complete I hope you like my foundation routine and like I said foundations change depending on your season depending on the type of look that you want so nothing ever is really set in stone when you're dealing with your foundations and your contours and your and your concealers and things like that this is just what I decided to do today so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below on um, the next video you would like to see me do um, and subscribe to my channel. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.